London residents will go in front of the city council tonight mm. to speak out against a hotly debated proposed cell phone tower. News Ace Tim Detell on the scene in New London this evening to tell us what's behind all the fuss. This battle over a cell phone tower here at Ocean Beach Park has now brought together neighbors in two different towns, folks here in New London where the tower would be built, and also other folks right over this bridge in Waterford. At first, New London neighbors wanted the proposed site for the 140-foot tower moved from the entrance of Ocean Beach Park to near this water slide. And basically, we came to the conclusion, well, it's, if it's not good enough for me, why would I put it in front of my neighbor's home? And the neighbors came together. They came together in protest. We're just saying there's other answers to getting cell phone service and public safety down here without this big, monstrous tower. But they also came together in trying to find an alternative. Steve Olligood, who passed around this petition, says a distributed antenna system, which uses existing buildings and telephone poles to relay radio and cell phone signals, could provide needed communication and allow the city to sell so space on the system. On it's still an avenue to make money for New London. By You can still have carriers, but you're using a more... Uh, modern technology and a green technology. They will try to convince city councilors tonight, also bringing up flooding issues seen in last week's storm and the 38 hurricane, which wiped out homes in this entire area. Putting your emergency services in the most vulnerable part of New London does not make good sense. I hope they veto both proposed sites and start from scratch. These folks say they're also concerned about this Osprey, which they say has been here for 20 years. Now, they'll be speaking to city councilors tonight who were set at this meeting to be voting on this cell phone tower proposal. On the scene in New London, Tina Detell, News 8.